Why you had to cheat on me? Why you had to cheat on me? Why, why you had to cheat on me? Welcome back to the McQueen channel, man. I know the intro sounds pretty similar to the second channel, but why wouldn't it? It's coming from the same guy, Mega McQueen. So we are inside the Aqua Palace right now. As you can see, it got some new additions, but uh, that's kind of a mess. Please ignore that. McQueen's been very busy for the past four days. I'm usually a very cleanly dude, okay? Anyways, that's besides the point. Right now, we're about to go link up with the homie Goldie, man. You know what I'm saying? He's an Instagram dude. You know what I'm saying? He, he makes a lot of money. And he be spending game, giving game. You know he's a fitness influencer. He helps people transform their lives. He's from Cali, and I can really relate to him on a lot of things. We think exactly the same way, damn near. So I wanted to go link up with him because I love giving you guys game on these vlogs, man. You know what I'm saying? Whole new and improved version of McQueen. I want us all to elevate together while we're also laughing. Because you know what I'm saying? I can sit there and make you guys laugh all goddamn day. And that's easy for me at this point. I can entertain you guys and inspire you guys. But why not inspire in a whole nother level? Giving you guys the game on how to become the best version of yourself. So anyways, that's exactly what we finna do. Make sure you guys hit the like button and make sure you guys subscribe because this video's finna be lit as hell. We're about to change and we're about to go link it with the homie Goldie, man. So I'll see y'all there. This is what they doing over here in Miami, man. You don't even realize how fucking high up I'm right now. Y'all don't even realize how high I am up right now, bro. This shit is just beautiful, man. And, and it's not even like a is trying to flex. I'm trying to do this to motivate you, nigga, man. I feel like I'm on top of the damn Twin Towers. I got the homie Goldie over there, man. We about to start talking. We about to give y'all some game real quick. See, I got the homie Goldie here with me, man. You know what I'm no. saying? This the funny is. Bro, he be on the Instagram just kicking game, and I had seen the homie like just on on the feed, and he was just spitting some game while being funny. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, I could really relate to this. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They, so, they don't get it. You yeah, know, it's like some dark humor, but you know, for those who know, I be trying to be funny. Exactly, and I can relate to that. Shit, my my humor is dark as hell too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I don't mind pissing off. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of are scared to say what they want to say because they want to sit there and like be a people pleaser. And hey, you know that's crazy. I didn't even think this. I was saying was gonna piss people off. For, for real? This is how I talk and this is how I kick it with people I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking. Yeah. The fact that people got so upset <laughs> about what I was saying was a shock to me when yeah, I got for real? Yeah, for real? Yeah. I say it all the time. Everybody wanna be on here because I know dudes on the internet. I know them personally. They yeah. kick it like I kick it. They be online with a whole different spiel. Yeah. Trying to sound, say what people, what I said is like this. You doing all that for no reason. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. these bras ain't finna mess with you regardless. Exactly. Or it's only a few, a small amount of them that's gonna mess with you anyway so you might as well be real and get the one who gonna fuck with you for you exactly because because whatever you putting out to portray they're gonna expect you to be like exactly that. And so you i can't just hold that up for, for long exactly you know so i'm gonna just be me and then i attract the ones who fuck with me for exactly how i am yeah, i had told you that in, the, in my course because i have it separated but i said bro be you especially when you approach the bitch. don't approach the bitch trying to be someone else because when you get on the date and you're not that same bitch, she's exactly. gonna smell that shit. exactly now you just fumbled your shit out of the pussy it depends what you want if you're just trying to get some if you just trying to if you just trying to get some now i guess you could be whoever you need to be to get the if that's all you want yeah if you end up getting the now you want a relationship well who you was to get the ain't really who you are you was opening doors you was doing all this extra stuff that you really ain't gonna do every day exactly so she gonna find out sooner or later and she's sure. gonna be like who is this and then you can't be mad at the woman who feels some type of way you was faking now for sure you was faking and you mad at her because you ain't who you portrayed yourself to be later yeah no that's you know? next also too like it depends on like the type of like where you at where your status is at because like if you want a lower status like because i remember when i was at that point if i'm going on a date with a bitch, usually i'm not gonna knock down to like the second or third date i don't know if it was like that for you nah I wasn't yeah, like yeah that. exactly i don't know if you can relate to that <laughs> that's how it was for me but once my status started to raise up you know what I'm saying the, the time limit became shorter when, when, you know when my so, status started to raise up now i'm the one but she trying to hit it on the first night and you ain't finna get yeah, this on the first yeah, night. Yeah, I feel that, you know, I feel the, that. the higher my status, the more I wonder, do I want to hit it? Do yeah. she deserve for me to hit it? Cause yeah. I, if I start giving this dick out like it's nothing, yeah. she gonna treat it like it's exactly. nothing. See, a lot of niggas get tricked out they dick as if they dick ain't as valuable as the pussy. Yeah, These girls wanna fuck just as much, yeah. but she's going to make you believe that her pussy is more valuable. Exactly. Cause if you don't feel like your dick is valuable, she can get whatever she wants. That's game. That's no, game. But if I realize, <laughs> that's, how, that's if I realize how much, how valuable this is, I know she wanna just as bad as me exactly so now i can play on that but you know you can play yourself out and act like it's nothing and chase her yeah. man i make a woman beg me for it yeah. she gonna be around me so long and i'm just gonna act like i don't even want it so long she gonna get to like what the yeah. is going yeah. on so let's say you get a number or some shit. yeah and then you link with her you're not trying to knock down first night it depends it depends on the woman depends yeah. how i'm feeling yeah. you feel what i'm saying sometimes because sometimes i ain't gonna lie i learned this kind of like in the last couple years especially in like the last year and a half like the less thirsty you are, bro, the yep. more. The, bro, if you if you can get yourself to a level of discipline to where you're not trying to knock down and be super thirsty over the pussy, the 
gonna give it to you faster than you wanted it. You that's know what I'm saying? Fact. Sometimes, like when I go on dates recently, like especially when I when I moved to Miami, I realized, bro, it works way more in your favor if you just go there and just be in the moment with the bitch and don't even be thinking about knocking down the first night. It, it all depends where you at in life too, because it's like at this point in my life, man. It's so much of a nothing thing. Yeah. It's it's kind of like I ain't even thinking about that. I'm really trying to see if dealing with this woman is gonna be worth, worth my, my time, time, what she can bring to the table or bring. not. Yeah. Now if I'm just some having and I'm just horny or something like that, all right. But that's not even what I'm coming in thinking about. But if you on that level, man, if you gotta play for the pussy just to get the pussy, man, I ain't mad at nah, you. Yeah, do what exactly. you gotta do. Yeah. No. That, <laughs> you know that, what I'm that, saying? That's facts. That's facts, bro. <laughs> I think that definitely has a lot more to do with two now. You know what I'm saying? It's the status that comes with it. Like I told you, I didn't learn game until I didn't know nothing about until I turned 23, nigga, because that's when I blew up on YouTube. I had to figure this shit out as I went. In the past three years, though, I learned a lot. Tell me what's one of the major things that you learned. Niggas lied to you about the whole Disney Channel, being the nice guy, and bringing flowers to bitches. That shit is oh, a lie, nigga. Yeah, that that shit is a lie. Everything that a girl tells you she wants in, in a man is not what she wants in a man. It's not what she's attracted to. It's a difference between what a bitch likes and what she's attracted to. A gonna sit there and tell you I want to I like a nice guy and she might like that on the outside but she won't let the asshole knock down but you, you know, know what I'm saying? that's going about it the wrong way anyway because when is what you like coming up in conversation because I don't care what you like I am who I am okay no no okay. feel where I'm coming from yeah, yeah yeah it's not even coming up I'm never gonna ask a woman oh what are you looking for in a man because I don't care because I'm not gonna conform to that if it ain't me I'm gonna be I'm gonna present who I am yeah yeah and you gonna fuck with it or you ain't ain't no ain't, it don't matter what you like yeah I'm me yeah. you you like me we around you don't like me on to the next i'm gonna find one that like me yeah, yeah so even asking a woman what she like means that you looking to see what you gotta be for her i'm not trying to be shit but myself and exactly. that's just how i come at it and when you realize man there's three billion women in this world you'll start being okay with letting the bitch go yeah exactly. like all right on to the next i can't wait till we could hurry up and get this interaction over so i could be on to the next yeah i know real. i'm looking for one out of 99. Let me, let me hurry up and get through you it's not gonna work out between us so i could get to the next one the one who i'm looking for that's see game. you got to look for the woman who looking for you yeah. everything else goes sm smoother when you looking for the one who looking for you yeah. I can remember when I was like 16, 17, we was at the club. My uncle told me, he said, stop looking at that bitch that you want and start looking at that little funny looking bitch in the corner that's looking at you. Because that woman finna do everything for you. That woman gonna turn mountains into molehills. The woman that you want gonna turn molehills into mountains. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a huge thing, like a huge saying. You gotta like who like you. That's like one on one. Oh, it was some pimp. He was being interviewed, I think on DJ Vlad or some shit. He was just like, choose the bitch that, that wants you, not the one you want. Yeah, that's and game. I'm like, he's like, because the bitch that you want gonna make you do all types of crazy shit. Give you all types of headaches and this and that. Yeah. You still might not even hit. But you if, the, if the she fuck with you before you even really fuck with her, she gonna do whatever the fuck you say. She gonna be submissive. Ain't gonna get some. Fuck, but nigga trying to go for the baddest. Fuck. A lot of times be fuck themselves over because they're not even in the position to pull the baddest. Fuck. Nah. You ain't got the confidence right. You ain't got yeah. the money right. You ain't got the status right. And you trying to go for the baddest. Fuck, and you wondering why you can't bag nothing. You know what I'm saying? But that's true. I mean, I've been a victim of that too. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I didn't really start getting bad until I became Megan McQueen. So I, I mean, feel let, like let's let's break that down because I don't even I don't even it sound, I, don't, I don't even like that. I don't even like the framework about that. What you What's mean? a bad bitch, though? What's a bad no what is the value of a bad bitch, though? The value for me has changed over the years. No, At okay, first, so so let me ask you, what is the value of having a bad bitch? For me it's like what the what value can you bring? How are you upgrading my life? Because is not enough anymore. Exactly. So you know there, that, that goes to my point. The value that a woman brings to the table makes her bad to me. For sure. So the looks ain't even going to be the first thing. It's not primary. Because what, yeah. what do looks do for me? Exactly. It gives me some status when I go out and other dudes see me with you. And, That's I, the, a, and that, I don't give a f Exactly. About and if I don't give a f about the opinions of others, then really I just got dead weight sitting here. Because y'all exactly. put that before everything. I'm putting what a woman's doing for me before everything. You could call me what you want, but the you see with me she doing something for me she ain't giving me no problems this woman treat me like a guy yeah so she bad to me i don't give a fuck what she look like i could get her lips done her face done or uh, teeth done or teeth done i <laughs> could get all exactly that done right right you, you know what I'm saying? I, and she could look just like that bad yeah, exactly so why would but i take all the bad is yeah. it was like just customized on, man yeah, that's, that's all it, it. Yeah, that's yeah, it fact. everybody want a bad bitch. why i yeah. want to treat me right because your life would be hell with a who look good but giving you problems every two seconds i can't live like that yeah, so that's however that's you true. treat me is your status to me she a 10 because she treat me right and, and that's she, what more dudes should be having that in their mind is that i just want the baddest well the, redefine what bad is to you exactly see like i don't think could understand until you get to a certain level of status though because it seemed like you learned the game real early on yeah but i learned this as I went, I was and, a late bloomer. And, and then it's the fact also that I've built women in, in the in the lifestyle that I was living. Mm -hmm. I would build a woman from nothing, get her all this stuff, get her to look like this, and go walk around and, and, and you know get stuff from dudes who having money. Yeah. So I have the eyes and, and, and like X-ray vision. I could see that a 
change shit. Oh, because I done bought all that shit before. Yeah. Oh, she really not that cute. You yeah. take all that shit off her, she just regular. Honestly, bro, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you know about gratitude and how much it raises your oh, vibration sure, like, instantly. I feel like your, the level of your gratitude also pretty dependent on where you're at, your environment. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, because when I moved out here, bro, and I start seeing all this water and like beautiful weather, Man, bad I'm everywhere that's why i came here yeah, you know anytime what I'm i came here i was just my ele elevation my vibration was just elevating me. yeah exactly you know they say gratitude is the key to infinite intelligence i believe that that's why i got you know i do my morning routine and gratitude is a part of it yeah because just putting yourself in that higher frequency your frequency is what you frequently see so whatever your vibration is is what you're gonna see when you in a high vibrational state you see solutions you see how it's going exactly. you see opportunity when you in just a the vibrational state man this Everything shit ain't, this shit ain't gonna work like that man i'm sitting at home yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this, you feel what i'm saying yeah, so yeah. so whatever you can do to put yourself in that high vibrational state is what you need to be in so from my car to where i'm living at to mm. all of these things i try to curate environment that's gonna force me into that high vibrational state that's why i work out early in the morning people exactly. like why you do it I, for the mind state that it put me in exactly so bro. the rest of my day i'm starting up here man. and i said that my video too bro i said that's why i work out in the morning you get them endorphins pumping my yep. it sets yep. the tone for the rest of the yep. day yeah. And it's crazy because I work out every day. I only day I don't work out is on Sunday. If I go a day or two without working out, it makes you realize how much working out helps. Nah, man. You know Let what me say? go too many days without working out, I start getting depressed. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm on? like, what man, the I, <laughs> like, and, and then it I, might I, be good. And, listen, this, this, <laughs> and it's funny because I do it so much. Sometimes I don't even realize it, even though I've done it a hundred times. Exactly. Then when I finally get back into the gym, I say, oh, that's oh, yeah, what was wrong. Exactly, bro. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm like, man, I ain't nah, feeling facts, it today. Bro. Then I work out and be like, yeah, that's bro. What it was. That's facts. And honestly, bro, like it's crazy because like when I, before I even really got super into f working out, bro. Like now it's a lifestyle, right? But like yeah. before, before I got into it, I fell into the whole dumbass mindset of like trying to look good, trying yeah. to do it first. Because I feel like if your primary, for me at least, if your primary reason to work out is because you trying to look good, I feel like that's because you trying to impress other people. And yeah. for me, I never gave a about other people enough to sit there and, and and use that as a primary motivation every day to go to the gym. So nah, I will nah. go for two weeks and then fall off. Two, yep. two weeks fall off. And then honestly, bro, now, like, I get so addicted to how good the gym makes you nah, feel yeah, that that's the reason you. I go. You like, I feel like I need that. If it's, I don't get if I don't get that I'm not going to be able to function right. Yeah, I ain't you know going to function right. I ain't going to feel right. Yeah. But I can say you vibrate differently when you like the way you look, too, though. For sure. No, but, but don't, yeah. don't get it for that's a byproduct of all the exactly. other, all the that, better benefits. Me, exactly. The For better me. benefits is that, you know, and, and if, if people start because they want the nice body, if you got to start superficially like that, then okay, eventually yeah. you're going to see all the real benefits exactly. that's way deeper than exactly. that. Exactly. That's the cherry on top. Yeah. Everything else, the mental and everything else is way, exactly. way more beneficial. Exactly. Because they ain't even letting their body, they, they muscles recover enough when you go to the gym every day. I'd probably be bigger if I didn't work out every day, but yeah. I need to go. I need to go. I need yeah. to start my day. Yeah. I need to get on yeah. that high vibration. No, that's facts. Because I be telling these you they be like, oh, uh, how many times you go to the gym? I go every day. Like, you know that's kind of bad for your muscles? I'm like, look, I don't yeah. give a f that ain't, like, that ain't It can't be that reason. bad. It, yeah. it can't be that bad. Yeah. And two, like I said, I can't go without the gym. Yeah, that ain't like the, the nigga, I got a tattoo recently, but that's why I probably want this kind of peeled off. He was like, yeah, bro, you can't be working out for like a, two weeks. I said, oh, no, that ain't going to work, bro. Yeah. I said, I'm going to have to, I said, if, if, if I got to come back and you get to touch it up, I'll do that because I'm going to the gym, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I can't not, you know what I'm saying? I got to go to the gym, bro. I can't even remember the last time I didn't go to the gym for, for two weeks. For two weeks is crazy. Yeah, what crazy. the I feel like my life is falling oh, apart. Oh, me, bro. <laughs> I'm like, what the f***? Um, I can't believe most of my life I wasn't going to the gym every day now. Yeah. This is rock style. That's crazy to me, yeah. bro. Most people is thinking, let me get to a point where I ain't got to go no more. And they don't realize, like, nah, you got to keep this. Up. Exactly, it's but just I, what it is. Yeah, but I, I honestly, to a certain, when you get to a certain point, and when it becomes so habitual, you want to go. Yeah, you know what I'm yep. saying. So, I know you got a lot to spit about this this topic right here. Right, come uh, on, let's I, come I, with I was it. just thinking, I hate, I hate, I hate a combative ass. I hate a combative ass bitch because, and the only reason why I wrote this down is because some bitch had DM me, and this bitch was bad as, f and she was a fan of me because you know how earlier you was talking about you gotta choose the to choose you right so she was choosing on me she was commenting on my videos and shit and telling me how much she me and she went on my pictures and telling me i'm cute this that with the group so i dm'd her i'm like what's up got her number we on the phone facetime whatever the bitch bad bro and i'm talking to her bro and bro immediately she's just start combating everything i'm saying i'm start talking about how like a man's life is completely totally different from a woman's and she was just like nitpicking every little mother thing like nah i think a woman's life is just as hard i said no it's not you got me are you for real? And I was giving her logical motherfucking points. And I'll be like, I need you to listen to me. I, I, this is what I be doing. To they can never do this. I say, listen to me, before you respond, I'm going to give you this logical point. What I want you to do is give me a logical point back. They can't never give me no logical you know, motherfucking 
the point is always just no. I think that's how it is because I believe it. That's not what the f it is. Now, two plus two is four. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Even if you feel like it's six, two plus two is four. A combative woman aside, and we're gonna talk about that in a second. Why is you sitting trying to have a logical conversation with a, with a woman? Yeah, I don't even. You're asking for for trouble. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any situation where I'm like, oh, when this get over here, we finna talk about some real, you know, you know some that. real logical I mean, shit. That's not my initial <laughs> thing though. It's just like sometimes you just like get into a conversation. Normally, it's, you should be talking with a. It's not like I went into the phone call thinking like, yeah, I'm gonna have a logical you, conversation. You, you know what I'm gonna think of? I'm gonna just think like this: like, what is the benefit of this conversation with this bro? With this particular, I'm, okay. I'm sitting here. That's a conversation I might have with you. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We should sit down, shoot this. We right. gonna talk about, you know, man, it's like this woman like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna have that with a woman, cause I already know where she coming from. I already know she not gonna agree. I already know she gonna say some that's gonna piss me off. I already know she gonna come with all her feelings that's illogical. So why am I even gonna put her in a position that's gonna piss me off? We not even talking about that, baby. Turn the TV on. Hey, what, what you wanna watch on Netflix? Let's laugh. Oh, you put yourself in that position. I already know she's not gonna agree. Yeah, you right. So, you you expecting so, you expecting her to be logical? If I wanted somebody with logical, I'd come and talk to you about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But listen, you know, you can't sit here and act like sometimes you be talking to a bitch. And she be talking about some that you have to put her in check. You know what I'm saying? You have to put her in check. And sometimes give me give me an example. Like for example, like if I'm kicking with her, like like for example, this this main one right now. We watching a, a movie. She had said some shit about how I have a pretty ass pussy, and I was like, I don't think pussy are that pretty. I'm gonna be wanted. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I don't think they're really. I I don't sit there and look at a, a and be like that shit's super pretty. <laughs> wait you know wait wait wait. So what? This bitch got Tourette's, so she just randomly said, I got I got a pretty. Nah, ass. Nah. Out of nowhere, but it's like I don't know how the conversation came up, but we were just posted up in the bed, and like she was just like, "Yeah, I got a pretty." P I was like, "Honestly, I don't really think these are pretty." You know what I'm saying? I don't. When I'm looking at a woman, I'm thinking about how her fat ass. I'm thinking about how, how curvy Man, she is, big titties. I don't sit there and think like, "Damn, let me see that." You know what I'm saying? So I told her that, and she was like immediately offended because the, the stripper. So she in there getting offended, talking about some what? All the niggas at the damn uh at the strip club always say I have a pretty. P I said that's cool. They can say that all they want. I still don't think. I mean, it's genitalia. They is not that f***ing beautiful to look at, I'm gonna be honest. And she was like, what the f***? Like, ar arguing all this shit. So you know what, listen to me, I'm not finna argue with you. If you got an issue, I could just drop you off, you can go. And she immediately was like, what? Like, what? you don't even wanna like, I, this. I'm like, I'm not dealing with that, bro. I'm not dealing with it. If you I have an issue with what the f I'm saying, now, and it has nothing to do with I hear what you're saying. So if she, start get, if she start getting out of control in that situation, what you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna tell you two things. One, I, I feel where you coming from. If I said some ain't this, some ain't that, just go with it. If you trying to me, you gonna go with it. If you don't want to go with it, then you can get out. But I didn't even put myself in that situation. Say, oh, I got a pretty. I'm not entertaining a nonsensical conversation. Okay, right, all right, like, right. To, okay. To say some stupid ass like that to me, I'm gonna act like I didn't even hear okay. it. And get, and, 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 and okay, right, okay. And we gonna start talking about something else. Cause, yeah. Cause there's no. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. There's no <laughs> That's way. Game, though. There's no way That's that game. conversation can go. <laughs> exactly. It, Cause the, the only way that conversation go is. What the fuck is you talking yeah. about? So either I'm gonna piss her off by saying that, or we're finna go. I'm not gonna have a nonsensical conversation. I'm gonna act like you didn't say it and yeah. talk about something else. Start a conversation that is something that we can both talk about. Yeah, okay. I'm not entertaining no that, stupid. That, that, but yeah. let's say I want to entertain some stupid. I still expect her to go with whatever I'm talking about. We ain't finna get to arguing. You get to argue with me, you done. That's it. That's right, just right. I get down. <laughs> <laughs> <You're done. laughs> and, and we're not gonna argue. If yeah, I yeah. even have to say, if I gotta keep arguing with you, or the situation is already done. Right, right. If you already got me feeling like that. Yeah. You could not be here, because if you wasn't here, I wouldn't be feeling like this. So you need to remove yourself so <laughs> I can get back to being myself. <laughs> exactly. Or right. Go too far. Exactly. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's because you know, that's all that's gonna happen, and I know myself, so yeah. I don't even let it get that close. If yeah. I even get to getting that feeling in my stomach, nah, we it's way not past, worth your peace. We yeah. way we way past the point of you needing to leave up out of here. But I'm sidestepping, boy. Now that you put it like that, I definitely got to take responsibility. I probably shouldn't even entertain a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's you know what say some retarded ass shit that ain't got nothing to do with it, nothing. It, exactly. I look like even, because where are we going to go with this conversation? Exactly. Nowhere that I want to go. Yeah. Nowhere that's going to have a good outcome. So we just going to oh, I'm going to sidestep that boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I be forgetting bitches just be talking yeah, about you, dumb you, ass shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm when saying? You, you know, you can't be mad at women acting like women. women. And I'm not saying all women act like that. You just got to understand. A lot of women like, is dumb as shit. Yeah, yeah, like, they are. Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to get mad at you for saying some dumb shit. No, I'm just not going to entertain the dumb conversation. And I'm going to take the lead with the next topic of conversation. So you felt like it's, it's, it's so lack of entertainment in here that you had to say some stupid shit. Okay, that's my cue to come up with something for us to talk about. Exactly. But you're not going to lead it with it's, that stupid it, ass. Exactly, said. exactly. No, you're right. It's just like, okay, you, I got to start being more conscious of... You know what? And I wasn't always like this because I, I, I used to, man, I used to be quick to flash and smash and this, that, and the third, but just the older I get and, you know, like I had older uncles around me, they was real smooth players. Yeah. Smooth players. I, 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 I
out me. You yeah. know, cutting the head and all this, that, and the third. Till I got around some older players and they showed me how to do it smooth. Like you could bypass that shit and just keep it cool. Yeah, that's game. That's game, bro. Because so all I, you do is get yourself frustrated. Exactly. Anyway. And it's you hard to be a player when you're mad. Exactly. You ever see, if you've ever seen somebody shouting at a woman, getting upset with a woman, you always look like Goofy. Yeah, you no be like, yeah, Goofy. So, so I shit. used to look like that and didn't even realize. Yeah. It. So yeah. now I'd be like, man, I ain't never going to look like this. Right, you feel me? right, for sure. If it ever get to an argument situation, I don't argue with it. I'm like, yeah. I tell her straight, I'm, like, I'm not about to argue with you. And that should make them mad. Right, what I need to start doing is what you said. If I see a situation that she starts talking about some where it potentially could end up being some dumbass yeah. it's going to make me mad or make her mad, I just won't even entertain it. Me, yeah. I just be like, I'm a good hey, you know, I like to hit a bitch with some silence, so she knows she said some stupid <laughs> Okay. Say some stupid. Look, listen, she say, oh, "I'm pretty." I'll not say something for a good thirty seconds and let yeah. that feel how stupid she just what the f she just said was. Yeah, and let her come to her own yeah. conclusion. Let me change the subject. Right, so I ain't even got to. Right, and then when and then when she feel that silence, now she gonna try and make up with it with another conversation. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, because right. if you entertain stupid, you are gonna be in a stupid conversation. Exactly. Talk to your girlfriend about that stupid. Don't yeah. worry. we not even finna yeah. talk about nah, that. Nah, thanks, bro. <laughs> Nah, that's game though, bro. That's game. I was talking about how men just want to feel appreciated, right? And she was like, I don't like how you said men want to feel appreciated. Everyone wants to be appreciated. Okay, I said, okay, but I'm not talking about everyone. I'm talking about men. I'm a man, so I'm speaking from a man's perspective. Oh, wait, tell me though, how did that conversation come about? Like, what was uh, leading up to that conversation? Uh, I kind of forgot, but like, she was basically like, she was just, I was just telling her, I'm like, look, I don't deal with girls that don't allow me to leave. If you're going to sit there and, and be combative with me and this and that, because we so were just she talking was, about. So she was already being combative? Uh, kind of, but I was telling her my parameters because oh, okay. I, I was telling her my boundaries because she was asking me what I look for in a girl. Oh, okay, That's okay, what okay, happened. Okay, I was okay. telling her, I was like, listen, I don't deal with girls that are combative. I don't deal with girls that don't allow me to leave. All men really want us to feel appreciated and respect. And when I said that, she was like, I don't like how you say, I said, oh, what the f you already, I just said I don't like combative and now you're being combative as hell. And then also she started getting all going on and on and on. I said, oh no, honestly, bro, you, and my, that's in the moment when I remembered the video you made where you was talking about <laughs> in the middle of the the guy was like, you're like, you know what? This ain't going to work. If, if a woman <laughs> said something like that to me and wanted to make a big deal about when you said, what, men? Well, yeah, she was like, well, I don't like how you said men. I would say, oh, oh, you one of those, huh? She'd have been like, what? I said, oh, you one of those. One of those that I don't like and this ain't going to work. And I just left. <laughs> let, but, but let's really think about it, yeah. right? Any woman who's such such an irritating person that yeah. she would even feel the need to say that, you're an unlikable person. Exactly. And it, listen, and the fact that you don't know that and would still say, either you have so little respect for me, you have such little self-awareness that you didn't even know that's not the proper way to respond because you could have chose any amount of ways to, to respond. Yeah. But you responded <clears throat> like that. Exactly. You're an unlikable person. I'm not going to change you from who you've been up until this point just because you get with me. Exactly. So we, I would be doing us both a disservice to deal with you because I'm going to just frustrate myself. Exactly. You were like this before I met you. So I want to get with you and then try to change you. Yeah, that's nah, just, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's classic. ways right now. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, bro, because when I when I was on the phone with her, when she started doing all that, I said, oh, no, I already know where this is going to go. She was still trying to talk this to I said, you know what, listen to me, look, I got to actually, like, go and do some shit. The homie's like, I'll call you back later. She was just like, okay, cause she tried. She knew that uh, I, I was hanging up because she was just being combative as hell. She tried to quickly say, oh yeah, I got something to do too. Well, I guess I'll talk to you later. I said, you ain't have shit to do. You was on the phone. So if I was on the phone with a woman like that, I would have hung up. Yeah. I just, just, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only gonna do the pleasantries in person cause I don't want you to get crazy yeah, Exactly, with exactly. So it's like, right. you know what, this ain't gonna work. Cause mm. I don't want you to get crazy. If you're on the phone, get the yeah, yeah, out of here. <laughs> what? Cause, cause I know I'm not gonna with you. I know yeah. you're not my type. So shit, yeah. we yeah. done. It's a lot of unlikable women in this world. Yeah. And when I identify it, I'm just not with Yeah, you. exactly. It's just a waste of my energy and I'm not finna ruin my own peace. Cause I had to go through a lot of red flagged ass women when it came to situationships, relationships, all this shit realize like i know they archetype when they present themselves you know what i'm saying oh, yeah, so i sure. know exactly and, and sometimes people be trying to tell me like bro you be cutting this out too quick no i don't you just don't know red flag when you see it nah, that's you know what i'm saying if i'm right if i'm learning how to ride a bike and i and i ran over a crack and i fell the next time i get on the bike i'm gonna make sure i don't hit that crack it's the same thing with if i see the same over yeah. and over, if i see a pattern you know what i'm saying you don't you can you only need to see something a few times before you know it's gonna Happy, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people are like, oh, that's not how everybody is. It's not I about how it. it's not about how if this person is 100 percent the same person as the last person I was dealing with. What I am saying is that she's the same type of person. When you first meet somebody, mm -hmm. a woman or a man meets somebody, you coming on your best behavior. You trying to be the best you can be. Exactly. So if you already showing little red flags, on the I first could just date? I could just imagine when you get comfortable with me, what that's gonna be. Out of control. So I'm gonna look at that and magnify that times hundred because that's what it's gonna be when we finally in a relationship. Exactly. And then and motherfucker. 
act like, well, she she didn't act like this before. It was signs you just overlooked. Them. Exactly. Little shit turned into big shit. Yeah. So when I see that little shit, call it what you want, I'm done. Yeah. It's enough women out here who ain't showing no little signs exactly. for me to be having to put up with that. Exactly. Plus, I've been with enough women. Yeah. I know little shit always turn into big shit. Exactly. It's always signs. That's facts. And anytime I say some shit like, oh, bro, you be cutting shit off too quick with the ghoul, I saw I know you don't get no bitches. You know what I'm saying? Because if you experienced enough women, you would know Man. how to f they act, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, maybe I did miss that one. But as far as I'm concerned, she missed me. You know That's what I'm saying, what I'm saying though. Like, I don't now. Uh, before when I was younger, bro, I, my status wasn't at where it's at now. My money wasn't at where where it's at now. All those things, like I would, I would probably think that to myself. Now it's like to the point where it's like, bro, I don't like you said. I'm, I'm thinking about me. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it, it, they brainwashed me to believe that the was the prize at one point that's that's the, the point. the moment i figured out that niggas is the prize i mean not every nigga, it's called the great it's called the great female con that the world has put on everybody to make you believe that the woman is more valuable than you when if you just look at facts and stats the man is always more valuable because what where does a woman derive most of her value from her looks primary value in society is 100 looks. Look. so how can something destined to go away make you more valuable <laughs> exactly, than me right because looks are going to fade exactly so the only thing you have a value is going to go away as a man you always have value yeah you know based Thanks. on what you're doing it don't matter if a woman is successful this that and the third she still holds not the same value in society as a man that's a so fact. If the one thing that you stamp and hold your value to is something that's destined to go away how valuable are you really exactly you know what i'm saying don't give a f if you got a, a, all this money we don't give a f if you got a nice car we don't give a f about none of that sh and, and it's funny because just be trying to name that sh off like as if that's something i give a as if that's something that makes you more attractive. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. The only thing that initially gets me is how you fucking look. You know what I'm saying? So if that shit is fading, like you said, at some point, like you have no value. And most of these like they don't bring other value besides the looks like we was talking you about. You know earlier. why they don't bring any other value? Because they spent their whole lives working on their looks so much time that they didn't work on other parts of their character and their personality and their skills. Exactly. So you done spent all your life working on your looks only. You neglected your character, your personality, yep. this, that, and the third. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so then when the phase, when the looks fade, you have nothing else to stand on. Yep. No, <laughs> you that's know what facts. I'm saying? Yeah, that's Because guess what? A woman, like you just said, a woman be with a dude all day. She stay some stupid. Dude ain't finna say you just said some stupid. Exactly. Shit, right. <laughs> so these <laughs> walking around, around they stupid. As shit. They never yeah. get checked for. Yeah, it. yeah. Facts. They never had to develop, develop a personality, be charismatic, and yeah. you know, okay. have emotional intelligence. You know how you said, oh, you shouldn't get into illogical conversations. with yeah. Okay. Well, their conversation. But you just. I mean, you just do whatever you want to do. No, but listen, you just named a perfect scenario where big do. At least for me, bro, when big do stupid shit like that, now you kind of bringing me into it, and it's like she kind of puts me in a position where it's like if I don't say something, she gonna think she can run over me. That's how I feel in certain situations. I feel like I gotta put. And and, and if I and and even whether or not I say it, and whatever result happens after that, I don't really give. If she gets mad, I don't care. Cool. I don't want to be with you anyways. I'll go this way, no, right? No, no, if you it. if you if you do if you are cool with it, cool. We can but, keep but listen, with each other. You, you know what I'm saying? That ain't what you said. What you said was the bitch my pussy is pretty. That's I just different. gave you a good example. Okay. I mean, I gave you the best example I could think of. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you don't yeah. want to you don't want to give tacit approval, and tacit approval is the fact that you don't say something would make the person believe that you agree because you didn't say anything and you didn't say you didn't agree with what they said. Man, it all depends on the conversation. It all depends on the situation. I feel like you're the same you way. Gotta, as me. You gotta, I feel like you checked it. You gotta tell me what it is though. You gotta tell me yeah. like, what, what does she say? What, what is the topic of conversation? This is a perfect example, okay? And I see this happen so many times with almost everybody. I gotta do this with everybody, honestly, like, and it's always initially. And this is the deciding factor. Like you said, I can't <laughs> wait, I can't wait to do some shit like this because I don't give a what happens after this. Right, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. If, if, if you get mad at me about how, what I say after this, that tells me everything I need to know. If you get mad, cool, but I don't even wanna deal with it like you anyways yeah. you see, because if you get mad at me for for having respect for myself i didn't want your ass anyways and if you don't get mad at me you will laugh and then i okay cool you will submissive we can keep going yeah. i get what it is, okay we go on the first day or some shit, link up whatever she'll say some disrespectful shit. like she'll order me around or some shit. you know what i'm saying like she'll like she'll try to say some shit like it's like like shut up yeah like shut up I'm or like it. or people like oh don't act like a bitch i'll be like oh, what? No. You know what, what? If, if they say some like that, I'm like, wait, hold it. I'll stop the whole conversation. I'll be like, look, what'd you say? Listen, she be like, she be like, honestly, don't, she be honestly, like, don't. Go, go honestly, if a woman ever called me a bitch, there ain't no coming back from that. That yeah. ain't no something. I mean, like, she uh, ain't called me a bitch. I get what you say. Yeah. Stop acting like a bitch. I've never had a woman say something so disrespectful to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fathom. I'm trying to fathom it. I, 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 it's hard to fathom. But let's just yeah. say that's not like, oh, if she say shut up or something like that, that could be corrected. 
a woman says something like that to me, ain't no coming back from that. Yeah, but I honestly, might, bro, I might, I might not even say something. If I'm driving, I'm gonna probably just go back to where I picked her up from. I swear to God, ain't no coming because yeah. there's no way that I can feel comfortable checking that. Like, what do you say to something yeah, so not, disrespectful? Not facts. But honestly, bro. I, I don't even think that's a, a scenario that's really happened to me either. I'll just go and shut up because if bitch tell me to shut up, I'm gonna say the same. Shit. I'll do some shit like in the mob. Like yo, don't ever talk. Me. Don't tell me to shut up. I'm not one of your girlfriends. You know what I'm saying this that, and I say it calm too. I don't even get yeah, out of yeah, I don't yeah. get mad. I'll be. I'll be like, listen to me. Look, I'm, I know. I'm gonna give I her. Know a, I'm gonna give her a chance to rethink it because as soon as she say that, we gonna stop and I'm gonna just look at her for a minute and hopefully, <laughs> she, you know, because yeah, 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 yeah. shut up is a thing that these women just say. You know, that's just so casual that they say. So I always I will stop first. And most of the time, they'll clean it up. Okay. You know, but if they don't, I'm going to let her know. Like, that's disrespectful. Don't speak to me in that way. Yeah, yeah. We good? You know, because I understand. You ever like, had to get mad, though, in those situations? They'd be like, uh, what? Well, ew. Like, they'll some, bro, I had a bitch. Like, I, like if, if a bitch respond like that, I've had, like, yeah, I've had a woman be like, I ain't mean it like that. Like, it ain't just, exactly. you know, I've had a woman they say just, like so, so when they start doing that, what, you, what do you say? I let them know. Well, check this out. If you want to continue with me, then I don't want you to talk to me like that. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'd be so, saying the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't finna get crazy in here. Exactly. You could oblige by my rules if you want to fuck me. And if you don't, that's fine. That's There's a million niggas out here that's gonna accept you talking to them how you want. Exactly. And you go find one of them and I could drop you off right now. It's exactly. whatever you want to do, baby. Exactly. It's that simple. Yeah. They be scared, bro. They be asking me, like, yo, bro, this girl said this. What do I say? And I'll tell them, like, bro, you gotta check her for that shit. And I'll tell them exactly what to say. And they'll be like, damn, if I say that, I feel like she gonna leave. See, that's the problem. You niggas got that scarcity mindset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what's the alternative? You just gonna let her disrespect you? Right. And then you're not gonna get the Anyways. Yeah, yeah. I guess it all comes down to self-respect too. But if a ain't got no self-respect, it's hard to make it somebody respect you. That's me. In the life of a pimp, sometimes you gotta make a make a plan B. Sometimes you be in the moment, you be loaded, right? You be drunk off your ass, and then the girl sit there and be like, "Oh my God, nutting me, nutting me, skating me," and you be loaded too. And you be like, "Oh my God, I feel so good." I, oh, wake up the next morning regretting everything, regretting the fact that you listened to. You know what I'm saying? I woke up the next morning thinking. The first thing I thought about when I woke up the next morning was I need to get this girl Plan B. And yes, she's inside the living room right now, okay? And I bought the damn Plan B and I'm about to make her take that shit. And I thought might as well be funny if I just brought y'all with me. So, you know what I'm saying? We about to make her take that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't not having no goddamn baby to clean. Got too much going for himself right now. Got too much money to make. Got too many dreams that are about to unfold for anybody to begin my way. So, we gonna make her take this Plan B. I know this nigga out there that can relate to this we about to make this make this motherfucking plan B. we're gonna watch her go down her goddamn throat hey, who am i talking to i'm talking to these uh, yeah. yeah i'm gonna take that damn plan B. let me see that shit. open your mouth open your mouth nigga. let me see that shit. open your mouth <laughs> no no nah, let me see under your tongue uh -huh. let me see let me see under your tongue man stop playing with me you're not hiding this under the tongue? Are you not hiding under the tongue? Let me see. You're not like bubble baths from SpongeBob. You just take, put the goddamn drink down. Let me see. Under, open your mouth. Thank you, bitch. Bam. If you want to have ultimate, eternal, everlasting confidence and be in the best shape of your life for a very low price, you need to join the Mega McQueen community right now. You got so many students in there right now going crazy, changing their life as we speak. You got the Bust Down Bible course in there that is a step-by-step -step guide teaching you everything you need to know when it comes to how to get confidence, how to talk to a girl, what to say to her when you approach her, how to get her number, how to text her, what to text her, how to get her on the date, how to get her from the date to your crib and eventually buzz down, okay? Step Step by step God, and you also have access to text me every single day when you run into real life issues from everything you've learned from the course and I will talk to you immediately ASAP. And then on top of it, you got the Mega McQueen fitness course in there, man. Another step by step guide telling you every single workout I do when I go to the gym and how I eat and how I track my meals and my diet. All of this for such an affordable price of $30, man. You need to get in there right now because as soon as we hit 100 members, I am raising the price to $100. But if you lock in your price right now, it will be that price for the rest of eternity. We do weekly group calls every single week. We just had an amazing call yesterday. We had some new members join. It's just a group of elite men all in the same journey to become the best version of themselves, man. See, so tell them what the, the deal is, man. Who better to learn from on how to talk to witches uh -huh. than McQueen? Type shit. You know what I'm trying type to say? Shit, type shit. Type shit. Who better? I know you've seen you over the years. Yeah. I used to be a scrawny ass. I know you've seen you on the brand now, straight as hell. Type shit. But who better, who better to learn from on how to get in shape than McQueen? Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. 
And like I said, make sure you guys join up right now, man. Like I said, $30. Get in there right now before we hit 100 members because once it hits 100 members, I'm raising it to $100, man. And if you don't believe me, look at this clip from a new student that just joined. You said you watched the course already, right? Yeah. Do you feel like the game that's inside the course has actually helped you? Oh, uh, yeah, the game actually helped me. Like, it's not BS. Like, I'm not going to lie. Okay. It's definitely helpful and useful. You know what I mean? Okay. Definitely got some key facts that you can definitely use in real life. It's not right. BS. We're not playing games. Stop messing around. Get in the Mega McQueen Academy right now. First link in the description. I'll see y'all in there. Yeah, that part. Ugly shot with the chop like I was Lonzo Ball. Getting rich. Little n That's the easy call. Ain't talking vans, but I got your She off the wall. After I hit, she getting kicked like a soccer ball. Yeah, and I'm the shit talker, jet walker. Form too fast, I'm in the power walk.